I'm the assistant manager here. I'll give you my number. Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu. The main attraction is the large swimming pool with salt water. That's right. And it isn't far from the beach either. Right, I've got that. Now there are just two more apartments to ask you about. Well, during the 1970s, my wife Liz and I had just acquired 80 acres of sheep farming land. I began to develop larger scale models of locomotives, but... And we opened to the public for just a month that year, 19... I dealt with park business and Liz carried on with the farm work. Which in turn attracted more wildlife. With 50,000 visitors a year. A million and a half people have been through our door since we opened. These visitors mean we have had to expand our operation, and it's now a truly family concern. Which keep the place running smoothly. We're really pleased that, after some years away teaching, Sarah has now returned to the park. The railway remains the central feature, and there's now 1.2 kilometres of the line laid. And the main attraction here is the Formula One cart. For the second in our series about locally run businesses, we meet Simon Winridge. And do we really need yet another sports shop in Bradcaster? It's going to be in the shopping centre to the west of Bradcaster. The first three floors have a huge range of sports clothing as well as equipment. Unlike the other store, where it can take up to 14 days. But they particularly focus on running and they claim to have the widest range of equipment and if you go along to the opening, then you'll have the chance to meet the National 400 Metres Running Champion. Just answer 15 out of 20 sports questions correctly, while the first person to get all the questions correct gets a year's free membership of... actually done in the shop by qualified staff. Now we go to Jane, who is going to tell us about what's happening in town this weekend. It's perfectly normal at this stage. And this is what your tutorials will help you to do. Well, I think I'm coping well with statistics, and I'm never bored by it. Cool. Well, I found computer modelling fascinating. Mm -hmm. I have no problem following what... Well, that's very good. Do you think these might be areas you could bring into your dissertation? Just that I'm having difficulty thinking how I can do that. You really need to work on these weaknesses before you go any further. Well, I can go through the possible strategies with you and let you decide where to go from there. Well, some people find it helpful to organize peer group discussions. Ah, Caroline, come on in, sit down. Thanks. I'd like to discuss with you the value of the English for Academic Purposes course you did here last year. Uh, Spiros, if I could start with you, what parts of the program have now proved to be particularly valuable to you? In my group, I was really surprised by the way the students did their presentation. So, how did you approach your presentation, Hiroko? And congratulations to you both in doing so well in your first semester exams. But today, I want to begin looking at some contemporary experimental design. So, I'm going to start with a house which is constructed more or less under the ground. 
And one of the interesting things about this project is that the owners, both professionals but not architects, their chief aim was to create somewhere that was as environmentally friendly as possible. Good morning. In the last few lectures, I've been talking about the history of domestic building construction.